Hello? Is this thing on? Okay. I think we got a wall there. I think we got a set. Okay. All right, we good? We good? Okay. So, hello. My name is Professor Buzzworth, and today I'm going to be talking all about energy. And what is energy, you may ask? Well, it's the ability to do work. And what is work? Well, work is when you're able to push or pull something. It's crazy! Today, I'm going to be talking about a few different types of energy. We got one, electrical energy, two, we got chemical energy, and three, we got. Oh, hold on, let me look at my notes. We got physical energy. This is going to be so much fun, so join me as we get going here with talking about energy. Hello there! What are you doing in my microwave? Hey, speaking of microwave, that leads me to my first type of energy. Electrical energy. Now, electrical energy is energy that is powered by none other than electricity. The electricity that you have in your house or wherever you're at, if you have electricity, guess what? You have electrical power. And so, electricity can power your phone, you can use it to charge your tablet, you can use it to power your video game system, and as we are using right here, it, you can use electricity to power your microwave. You can use it to just pop your chicken nuggets right in there and cook them right up. But, there's two very important things that you need to remember about the microwave. Number one. If, when you go to get your chicken nuggets out, they're probably going to be hot. So you're going to want to ask a grown-up for help or use some hot pads to get them out of there. You just got to be careful so you don't burn your hands. Number two, with the microwave. You should never, ever, ever put metal in the microwave because it could catch on fire. And if the microwave catches on fire, then your whole house can catch on fire. And then you have no more house. Speaking of fire, now I'm going to cook you and light you on fire! <laughs> Hi, welcome back. You all survived the microwave. So, we are here to talk about energy type number two. First one was electrical energy, now we're talking about chemical energy. And I have Mr. Buzzworth Jr. here to help me out with this one. Hey, Buzzworth, what do I have? Chips. We have chips. And why is chips important to chemical energy? Well, when you eat it, it gives your body energy. And that chemical energy that you get transforms the food into energy and then you can go and go 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 Alright, ready to eat some chips? Yeah. Are you ready to get some energy? Yeah. Alright, here's your share. Wait, wait. Here's my share. Here's your share. Okay, ready? Cheers! Cheers. Let's click on them. Alright! All right, and our last type of energy that we're going to talk about is physical energy. And physical energy is just like what it sounds like. What you do is you use your body to exert physical strength, whether it be picking up a barbell and lifting it and raising and doing your muscles, 
Or, oh, it's leg day. Yeah, it's leg day. Oh, yeah. Or picking something up. All of that is physical energy. And even riding a bike. Rollerblading. I don't know if kids do that anymore. Skateboarding. All that. All that is an example of physical energy. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you all again for joining me, Professor Buzzworth, on this episode of whatever you want to call this thing. But uh, if you like this video, you should give it a uh, thumbs up. You should subscribe because, you know, my the guy that let me come on here, Mr. Hemingway, he's awesome and he puts out great stuff so you should you should subscribe and come back and check back often but again thank you for joining me as we talked all about energy physical energy electrical energy and chemical energy i will see you all on the next one goodbye